So I have noticed that in terms of preparation, I'm doing less and less for these YouTube videos. Um, ever since I've sort of increased the quantity of videos, you know, I've sort of um, been less fussed about like the backdrop, etc. Like I used to have like um, a stand here. I used to have like a ring light with like proper white light uh, coming at me to, to increase the brightness. Um, so let me know in the comments down below, like are you okay with uh, now with the increased uploads? Um, you know, do you care about like the backdrop, etc., or are you okay just listening to my voice, uh, provided that the audio is okay? Because I'm obviously using um, the the road mic, you know, for the audio, because I do think that is very, very important. And let me just shut the window because they are doing all kinds outside. Uh, there we go. But yeah, guys, let me know in terms of the quality. Is this okay? If not. Do need to increase it let me know anyway in this video guys i want to talk about how you can actually get your very first client if you have no experience and you are still you know 14 15 16 years old and the reason why i'm recording this video is because obviously guys i am 25 you know i'm, I'm 10 years older than 15 um, but i've just gotten off a coaching call and um it was actually his idea, the, the guy who I had the coaching call with, he is 15, and he suggested that I actually film a YouTube video about this to help more people uh, with the same, that have the same issue. And uh, so basically, his situation is, he is 15 years old, he has no experience, but he wants to get into social media marketing. He's, had, he's been doing outreach, um, and he has had a few... Uh, situations where the client or the potential client has asked for his portfolio which he has not got so he wants to know you know are there any other methods of outreach or is there anything he can do to prevent the client from actually uh, asking for a portfolio or asking for his previous experience or just to get the get a client with the client knowing that he is inexperienced or he's just starting out and i know that people do not want to do this and that people are against the free trial etc but um the easiest way to actually get a client is by doing free work and you can also do this without actually doing a free trial so rather than trying to sell someone on a free trial which can still be perceived as um quite daunting you know quite, if, if you're not experienced and you're offering a free trial but you are using his ad budget the client still may say like you know i'm, I'm not willing to take this risk but what you can also do is instead of actually setting up the ads or uh, offering a free trial is uh, basically creating a funnel or creating the copy, the creative, uh, the objective, the, the objective, the campaign, etc. I'm writing out what you plan to do and what you suggest they do and present it as like a free gift to that client. Just say, uh, hey, I'm just starting out and um, I'm new to the whole social media marketing uh, scene. I thought I'd use your brand as a case study. Um, I'm happy with the results, so I thought I'd actually present it to you. And um, if you want, I can also implement this free of charge. All you need to do is cough up the ad budget. Um, obviously, I do recommend splitting those two messages up. So first, given, you know, give value first, give the, the free gift first, which is obviously you know, the mapped out um, campaign then make sure they respond first. And yes, guys, this will be a enormous game. You will put in efforts and there will be clients that won't respond to you. But, you know, you've now got time. You haven't got the money to do the paid ads. You haven't got the experience. What you have got is time. So you need to leverage the time that you've got. And yes, you know, you will get a lot of no's. But as soon as you get that one, yes, you'll notice that everything just um, snowball, you know, the snowball effect, basically. So you give up your free gifts you give the you basically you map out a campaign that you could potentially do for them and you give it without expecting anything in return okay so if the client responds saying oh that's great thank you for that then you offer an additional free gift you say you know because i'm just starting out um i can set this up for you all you need to do is um you know this obviously will be your ad budget but you don't have to pay me for it um and i can just use this as a case study or referral okay as soon as you get them onto that then you can say after a month or after two months, you know, depending on how long you want the free client for, um, I recommend no longer than a month. By the way, um, after that, you can say, listen, you know, um, I've gained a lot of experience from this. I've noticed that I can get a lot of good results for you. 
um, you know, would you like to turn this into a paid, um, you know, gig where, you know, you pay me a monthly retainer and then um, I continue to do this and get you results. Okay, so that's method number one. Um, basically, I've got this method off of Gary Vaynerchuk. He recommends, uh, he calls it jab, 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 right hook. So you give three times and then you ask once. Okay, so you give first, provide value first, and then you ask, you know, is this okay if we set this up for you? So like I said, you know, jab, jab, you give the free campaign, you do the free trial, um, you get them the results, and then you ask, you know, is it okay if we turn this into a paid gig? Okay, so that is method number one. Now, method number two isn't really a method, but it's just salvaging the leads and the outreach that you've done um, you know, previously. So a lot of people send out messages. They'll send out 20 messages, 30 messages, 40 messages a day, or say, you know, how are you looking for this? Are you looking for that? Um, and they don't get a reply. And then they message me saying, you know, well, listen, I have tried everything. I have messaged so many a day. I spent the last four hours uh, messaging all these new clients. I'm running out of ways to find clients. You know, I'll run out of methods. And then ask them, have you done any type of follow up? And they're like, no. Why, what's that mean? What do we do? Isn't that spammy? You know, what, what do you mean? They're not interested. They've read it, but they haven't replied. What should they do now? Just follow up until you die. Like literally just constantly follow up. If you notice that uh, someone's read your message, just say, hey, um, I saw that you read my message. Um, would love to know your thoughts on it. Please get back to me. If you send a loom and they view the loom because you get notifications if someone views your loom, just send them a message. Hey, so you view my loom. Love to know your thoughts on it. If you'd like, we can discuss some more ideas in further detail on a call. Okay, just constantly follow up. If there's not on, no reason for you to follow up, so if you haven't read the message, you haven't replied to the message, you haven't got a notification that they've watched or viewed your content, then just send them more value, okay? Send them a competitor analysis. Send them what they're... Um, like businesses that are similar to his business are doing, you know, just say, listen, um, competitor B and C are doing this. You know, this is what you could be doing as well. Um, I've got a few more ideas for you. Please get back to me, you know, or if you've done that, then send them an article that you've seen that might be interested for them. Send them, uh, maybe you, you've trained someone about your team and you'd like to keep them up. Just constantly keep that conversation going because in the end, you know, you, you're not, being spammy because it's just you're providing value you know make sure you do provide value like i said jab 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 right hook make sure that he benefits from the message that you're sending like, like i said send the loom competitor analysis send any blog articles that are relevant for his situation send them like mock-up campaigns or things that you could potentially do for him and yeah okay after a while you know if the client really doesn't uh, respond I, what I do for myself is if after seven consecutive messages, the client has not read or responded, then I send them one last sort of, um, you know, ultimatum. I say, uh, listen, I'm, I'm available this week. Would you want to hop on a call? And if he doesn't reply to that, then okay, I cross it off as a lost deal. But um, this way, you know, you're sending seven times as many messages than just that one message and hoping for a reply. And there's a much bigger chance of them following up because, what you know what are the odds that that client just happened to not see that message or not see that email you know it can happen he can be busy you know he might get hundreds of emails a day you just need to follow up and hope that eventually he does see that message okay and then uh, this is already an eight minute video it was not supposed to be this long but the last um method to get your clients if you're inexperienced is just by lowering the price like yes okay a thousand a month is what you could uh, you know ask as a minimum but that is when you're experienced. You know, uh, if you are just starting out and you do not feel comfortable asking a thousand a month, the client can tell, he can sense that you are not confident in either the price or your service and he'll either call you out on it or he'll say, I'll have to think about it and never get back to you, anything like that. So if you do not feel confident in what you are selling, if you do not feel confident in your service or if you do not feel confident that you can't get results, then don't offer a thousand a month just say, listen, I'm just starting out. Um, you know, my service starts at a thousand a month, but because, you know, we are just getting this relationship going, I am more than happy to work for a thousand, uh, sorry, 500 a month, uh, provided that in 90 days, you know, we do hop on a call together again. We rediscuss, um, you know, my retainer based on the results that I have gotten you. Okay, so you know that if you do a good job for them now, you will go back up to the original agreement of a thousand a month. But for now, you know, just because you're starting out, um, you know, you, you both agree to work for 500 a month, 300 a month, 400 a month, whatever. Okay, so I hope you got something out of this. If you are 15, 16, 17, 
17 years old and you found this valuable please let me know in the comments and give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more and i'll see you guys in the next one